I shouldn't have to make this video, but there are a lot of scrubs out there that think this character is good. And because of these scrubs opinions and the fact that they don't want to learn how to fight a character, this character might not get buffed because of all these, how can I say, dumb people that want to say this character is good without doing their due diligence and researching the character. They just all want to say he's good because he dive kicks and he's jumping. I can't stop it. Let me teach you how to fight Kung Lao. I've been trying to make videos going on and on why this character isn't good, but that's not getting through to people. So instead of explaining to you over and over again or going in depth why he's trash because all of his main mids are unsafe, and he has no mix-ups and no pressure, but somehow people still think this character's good. <laughs> that baffles me. But let me show you how to punish him. Since a lot of people out there, you know, just keep going on and on about the character's good. But I actually watched this tournament that had, yes, pro players there. And nobody was punishing this player named Splash. He has an amazing Kung Lao. He was doing clean things with him. And I actually have a video ready to go reviewing his gameplay. But a lot of people were not punishing this right here. Just straight up not punishing it at all. Like just letting them get away with it each time. Okay, everybody, in case you didn't know, this is minus 19. Everybody's letting Lao get away with doing this. You can punish the crap out of this. Let's see. Wait, hold up. All right. If I can punish it, punish the trash with trash. So let's just say, do something like, oh, there we go. Easy. It's minus 19. Why are people letting Lao get away with this? Like, the most he's going to do to stop you is throw a hat, but you can still duck and punish it. Let me show you. Hold up. Boom. Just throw that hat out. It's easier to punish if he throws the hat. Look at that. Y'all can punish that. So, stop saying the character is good because this mid, you know... This is what people will fall back on half the time when they're saying this character is good. This mid is not good. I don't know why people let him stagger it all the time. Because what do you have to fear if you can punish both options? Oh yeah, he can end it like this too. Yo, yeah. hold up. You must be saying, oh wait, Nick, he can make that save. Oh no, you're not saying that. Because most of the people who think... Kung Lao's good are very rude. So, let me go right here. Now, the one troll or ignorant is out there saying, oh, you can make this move safe. Hmm. Okay. By doing this right here? Yeah. L let me see. Hmm. Okay, minus six. That's safe, right? Okay. Let me just have Lao do this right here. Put them on record. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, whatever will I do about this? Whatever will I do about this move? It's just so good. Like, yeah, he can make it safe. How do I get out of here? <laughs> like, are you kidding me? Like, are you actually kidding me? People ain't figured this out yet. You can get out of it. It's not hard. People just don't want to lab the character. People are literally saying this character is good for no reason. Because all this stuff, you can get out of it. Look at that. Full combo. With loud. You can get out of all the options from that one mid right there. Now they might be letting, you know, loud players get away with this because they're afraid of this. But... I mean, you can punish each option after that. So what are you afraid of? Everybody out there that's saying loud is good. Oh, let's look at another move. Matter of fact, this might be a little 
tutorial why he's trash and how to punish him too. So, let's look at this. His other mid. Unsafe. Oh, wait. He must be able to make it safe somehow, right? Nope, wrong. Minus nine. Let's look at this. Hmm. Minus 13 and minus 13. So he's not throwing any mid string out, but this and this right here. I mean, if you want to go for like some type of, you know, if you want to have a guaranteed play style with Lau where you could just be relatively safe, you could do this all day. Oh, oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, you can do this all day. Yeah, have fun doing that. This is literally all he can do reliably. Just that right there. Look how long this is taking to kill. That's all he can do. Because this is the only decent mid string he has. That's it. Unsafe. 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 That doesn't matter. Because you can stagger it. No, wait, that doesn't matter because this option is trash, but I guess if you want to use that, it matters. Unsafe, huge gap. Like, I have to keep going on because no matter how much I explain to people this character's trash, they don't get it through their heads that he's trash. And just because people are doing good with him, wait, let me make it more clear. One person in the world is doing consistently good with him. That doesn't make the character good. I don't, I shouldn't have to explain this. One person in the world making the character work does not make the character good. He is just taking a trash character and putting his all into it and making it work. The man played Cassie. He could have easily stuck with Cassie, but he chose to play loud. Anyways, and if you don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about Foxy Grandpa. So, Come on, let's get on with it. You know, this ain't got no safeness behind it. I mean, like, oh, chain fist. Forgot about that. Three highs. What you gonna do with three highs? Everybody's down poking this or uppercutting. So, I mean, you're barely throwing this out now. Um, oh, wait. Oh. You can make it safe with this, right? But look at how many resources this costs. Look. So you're telling me I have to spend a wake up to be minus seven? Really? Meanwhile, Scorpion's over here teleporting, canceling, getting in full scream with one bar of defensive meter and I have to spend both? Let me show y'all something. I bet y'all didn't even know he could do this. Yeah, most of you looking like, I didn't even know that was in the game. <laughs> Nobody's ever going to really do this in a tournament. There's no point. That's another useless move he has. What else is useless about this character? Um, so we went over this. You know, this has three highs. And, oh, yeah, plus frames. This is the only reliable. Oh, oops, I almost hit reliable. This right here. Stagger in this string will make you plus one. Okay. So, which would be somewhat okay. It's still not good. It's only plus one. But who is going to let you get three highs off to get that plus one? That only really nets you anything but a poke. Like that. And still people with six frames, well, people with six frame moves can counter it. So... It's like, all right, I got my three highs off into all these mids. Boom. I mean, I get a low poke after you block, and some people can still trade. <laughs> this character is an absolute joke. He is not good at all. Oh, wait. He has teleport, right? Then a lot of people start to whine. Oh, he has a teleport. He can get in for free. Um... Um, hold up. Are y'all sure about that? You sure about that? Three times in a row. One, two, three. It's not hard. 
hit them out of the teleport. All you got to do is down poke. That's it. A lot of people need to start actually laughing how to fight characters instead of just whining about it and saying, oh, the character is actually good. You don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. When I have multiple matches played on the character and I actually lab the character, I don't know what I'm talking about. When you probably just got hit by a couple of dive kicks and didn't stop allow from jumping. But I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, sure. Like, people are just so ignorant when it comes to this character. It's actually funny. It really is. Now let's get variation specific, right? Because people will say, oh, you can make one of these variations work, right? Like I was saying, two resources to be minus seven. Do I need to say any more after that? Like, two resources to be minus seven. Then people will be like, oh, hat tricks is the best one. Because, you know, Foxy plays hat tricks and everything. Oh, yeah, you can make this one work or whatever. Um, why don't people just jab them out of that? I mean, yes, the setup is good off of this, but good luck opening somebody up with a character with no mix-ups or plus frames do you know how much work it takes to open up a good player with Lau? like you must not really know if you think this character is good character literally can only do this to open you up and that would not be a big deal if he had plus frames but he doesn't have that either the only thing that he can get reliably that's plus is this and that's off of a knockdown that's it a good player will not let you pressure them with this because this takes forever to freaking start to be more specific it takes a very long time for this move to get going that's 38 frames you tell him you can't press a button in 38 frames it's ridiculous that people think this character is good. How you fight him is you just punish him and you always take your turn. He is not plus on a lot of things. At the end of the day, Lau can only really do this and this. And if you look at both of these moves, minus seven, and this right here, minus three. So it's your turn after. There's no way he can condition you to get plus frames because he has no reliable plus frames. Imagine that a pressure character with no plus frames and then people still say the character's good. I mean, yeah, dive kick. That's one thing I'll give him. Dive kick is good, but the dive kick doesn't even have a good crushing blow requirement. How the only thing they gave him that was good has a horrible crush and blow requirement. I don't understand, but hey, I mean, I've explained everything about this character and I guarantee that there will be some people that are still saying this character is good when this character literally has no tools. All he has, bare minimum, is this off of a knockdown and dive kick. That's it. And people think this character's good. Really? It's a joke. And I I don't know if I said this already, but I literally watched a whole tournament where nobody punished this at all. And it was so hilarious. But everybody thinks he's good though. Alright. One person in the world placing consistently with him, and everybody thinks he's good. Y'all are all hilarious. If y'all think he's good and ignorant. But anyways. If you enjoyed this video. And you agree with me. On the fact that Lao is trash. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And check out my Twitch and my Patreon. And anybody who thinks this character is good. Does not know what they're talking about. Or is a scrub. As simple as that. I'm sorry. I'm just being brutally honest. That's just how it is. And then people might want to pull the card. Oh, 
well, I'm not going to say his name, but this specific player said he's good and he's one of the best. That specific person, I watched him play the matchup and he didn't punish it one time either. People are letting Lau get away with a lot of things that they shouldn't let him get away with. And that's all there is to it. Like I was saying, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and Nick Ops out.